video is from Hilsar English Medium School. Hello friends, this is first lesson of science standard 9 that is matter in a surrounding. In this lesson we will see the uh, everything surrounding us, the every each and every material we call it as matter and their physical property. As we look at our surrounding, we see a large variety of things with different shapes, sizes and textures. Everything in this universe is made up of material. Scientist has given the name as matter. The air we breathe, the food we eat, stones, clouds, stars, plants and animals, even a small drop of water or a particle of a sand, everything is nothing but matter. We can also see as we look around that all the things mentioned above occupy space and have some mass. In other words, they have both mass and volume. So each and everything which has some mass and volume, we categorize that thing in matter. Early human he has classified all this material around us into five basic elements that we call as Panchatantra. They are air, earth, fire, sky and water. So according to them, everything living or non-living, they all consider into this Panchatantra. So further, the Greek, ancient Greek philosopher had arrived at the similar classification of matter. Modern days scientists they have evolved two types of classification of matter based on physical properties and chemical properties. In this lesson we will see more about physical properties and ahead in future lessons it will come about chemical properties. Now first point physical nature of matter. What is the physical nature of matter? Matter is made up of particles. We all of us know that each and everything around us, we can break down into the small, smaller thing. That is nothing but the particle. For a long time, two schools of thought prevailed regarding the nature of a matter. One school, he believed that the matter to be continuous like a block of wood. Matter is a block of wood. जो wood है उसके block के जैसा है बहुत लंबा के लंबा it cannot break further the second school he was thinking about that it is like a particle of a sand sand के जो कैसे particles होते हैं वैसा है let us perform an activity to decide about the nature of a matter it is continuous or particular this lesson is all about the activity based many activities are given which are so simple activities which you can perform at home so you will get a better experience in the first activity you have to take a beaker or any transparent container and half fill it with the water and add sugar or salt into that when you dissolve that when you mix that what you will see you can see the salt and the water separate or the sugar and the water separate the salt or the uh, sugar get completely dissolved in that but we cannot see the particles where are they they are the smallest one so these particles of salt or the sugar get space between the particles of water now let us see the how small are these particles can we see with our eyes for that one more activity is given that also you can do at your home you can take two to three crystals of potassium permanganate in a beaker and dissolve that in 100 ml of water and mix it this is mix karenge, the color of water change you can see the second beaker in which two to three crystals has added now next step is the dilution. Dilution kaise karenge? From second beaker we take 10 ml and add into the third beaker which already containing 90 ml of water. Just say 90 ml mein 10 ml dilution jayega, it become 100 ml. But you can see the change in the color. In the next fourth beaker we will add 10 ml from the third one. Third se 10 ml fourth mein dalenge, the color will again dilute or fade ho jayega. Like that will continue. If we continue it for 5 to 8 times, you will see the change shades of pink color. As soon as, as much as we dilute, the color fades. This experiment shows that just a few crystals of potassium permanganate can color a large volume of water about nearby 1000 liter. 
So we conclude that there must be a millions of tiny particles in just one crystal of potassium permanganate. मतलब potassium permanganate के एक crystal में millions of particles होते हैं, which keep on diluting or dividing themselves. Into smaller and smaller particles. जैसे हम dilution करते जाते हैं कि हर एक beaker में potassium permanganate के कुछ न कुछ particles आ रहे हैं. So it shows that it is a color. अगर आपके पास potassium permanganate नहीं है, you can do the same activity with the two ml of Dettol instead of potassium permanganate. You might not change difference in the color, but you can at least smell it because Dettol has its particular smell. The particles of matter are very small. They are small beyond of our imagination. इतने छोटे होते कि हम सोच भी नहीं सकते. Let us move towards the next property. That is characteristics of particle of matter. अब matters के क्या characteristics हैं? First characteristic of matter. That is particles of matter. Have space between them. मतलब जो मतलब millions of particles से बना हुआ है, उसके हर एक particle के बीच में जगह है, space है. To prove that many simple activities are given over here, you can try it at home. Activity 1.1 and 1.2, we saw that particles of sugar, salt, detol, or potassium per magnet get evenly distributed in water. Similarly. When we make tea or coffee or lemonade, that is nimbu pani, particles of one type of matter get into the space between the particles of water. This shows that there is enough space between particles of matter. But love, ek matter ke particle mein itni jagah hoti hai ki jo dusre matter ke particles ko samale. The activity is given. Activity 1.3. It is about you can take one incense stick. जो अगरबत्ती होती है भगवान के सामने हम जलाते हैं, उसे हम ले. If we lit up and put it in the one at the one corner of the room, what we can observe? We can get the smell at the other corner of the room. Next activity में क्या दिया है? You have to take a beaker, two beaker, or a glasses which is filled with the water. And to that you have to put blue or red ink. Slowly and carefully along the side of the first beaker. Side से हमें ink डालने blue ink लो या फिर red ink लो. दूसरे beaker में क्या करना है? वैसे ही हमें honey लेना है. That is शहद लेना है. Leave them undisturbed in your house or in a corner of a glass. तो उसे disturb किए हुए ना ऐसे ही रखना है थोड़ी देर के लिए. Record your observation. हम क्या observe करते हैं? What you will observe? What do you observe immediately after adding ink? जैसे हम ink add करते हैं, तो क्या होता है? Ink start getting mixed up with the water. What about the honey? Honey get mixed up with the water. It takes much more time. How many hours or days required to take for for the color of the ink to get spread evenly in the water? In the next activity, you can take crystals of copper sulfate or potassium permanganate into a glass of hot water and another containing cold water. दो बीकर लेना है, एक में hot water लेना है, एक में cold water लेना है। और दोनों में क्या डालना है? Potassium permanganate के crystal, अगर वो नहीं हो तो copper sulfate के crystal डालने हैं। और क्या होगा? Allow then these crystals to settle at the bottom. After that, what do you observe? About the solid crystals in the glass, what happens as the time passes? You can observe that the potassium permanganate easily get dissolved in the hot water than the cold water. You can observe the change in the color in both the beakers. So all these activities conclude that the particles they have space in between and they can intermix on their own. So in the above three activities, we observe that particles of matter intermix on them on their own with each other. 
they do not by getting they do so by getting into the space between the particles jo particles mein space hai uski wajah se wo space mein dusre particle ke particles aa sakte hain this intermixing of particle of two different types of matter on their own is called diffusion next point is particles of matter attract each other for that they have given three activities first is a field activities where they have made a four chain of a people where in the first chain the people are most more closely arranged second is somewhat far third one where they have just touching their finger and fourth one is without touching each other and they are allowed fourth one is allowed to break the chains of the first three chains in this next activity you have to take three material chalk rubber band and nail iron nail and what you have to do you have to break try to break them with the hammering or crushing or stretching what we will happen what we will see that the chalk will break faster then the rubber band when we stretch it will break down and while crushing hammering Uh, the iron nail it will just mold it by this these are the different changes uh, we can see due to the attraction between the material particles which are present in the material in the third act, next activity is about you to take some water in a container and try to cut the surface of water with the help of finger agar hum ungli pani mein dalenge to water ko break kar payenge kya no it is not possible why this is so because the particles of the matter they are having some affinity with each other jaise agar humne finger uh, cross kiya pani mein water surface mein to kya hoga pani cut nahi hoga kyunki what are the particles they get apart from each other due to our finger they come close once again so the above three act, uh, activities it suggests that the particles of the matter they have force of acting between them that is a force of attraction between them this force keeps the particles together and because of that only these particles are together the strength of this force of attraction varies from one kind of matter to other kind agar zyada force hoga particles ke beech mein to usko break karne mein zyada hame energy lagegi so in second activity it was given the activity 1.7 that chalk we can easily break because the attraction of force or the, or the force of attraction between the particles of a chalk and the particles of iron nail is different so the questions are given that you can try on its own it is just an understanding question based upon the lesson when you try to answer this question if you understand the part you will come to know.